Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and a good wherever you are. JP here with Brizzy. In a number of features and updates that I've done recently, especially with the new templates, I have seen a lot of what we refer to as a split menu. And the split menu is what you see here at the top. You usually have a logo here in the middle, and then you have one part of your menu on the left, and then you have another part of the menu on the right. Many WordPress themes can do this automatically for you, which is great, but there is one little shortcoming here, and that is mobile responsiveness. I'm going to show you how to do this in cloud, and we'll talk about WordPress as well, but it is very easily implemented. The caveat is that you will need to work around to make it look good on mobile. Not a workaround, it's a solution. So let me show you what I've done for this starter site on mobile. I have the hamburger menu. And you have to understand there is a challenge because we have two menus actually here. We have one menu on the left and a menu on the right. And I'll show you in the back end soon how that was done. If you just leave this and you move it to mobile, you're going to actually get two hamburger menus, right? Because you've got a menu on the left and a menu on the right. But what I have is just one menu here. You can decide that you want to keep this kind of menu structure at the top with the menu on the left and the right. But let me show you what happens if you didn't design it properly. And you're going to get the following. Let me just quickly navigate to that. You're going to get your menu squashed. So you see, we actually have two links here for the restaurant and the contact there on top of each other. These two fit in nicely. It doesn't look good. You don't want to have a header like that ever, ever, and never. So how can we get it to be a hamburger? Right. And that means, my dear friends, we go into Brizzy. Let me jump into Brizzy templates. And here we have this sushi. This is the one that we'll be using. Now, you can do this in WordPress with a one-click installation. I'm going to use Brizzy Cloud purely because it is so super easy just to install a starter template. You see, I'm clicking on it. I'm going to talk some mumbo jumbo until that site is done. And usually I have a count of 15 seconds and there the wheel starts spinning. We're going to do it in that a lot of time. That's what I have in mind. Now let's have a deeper look at what we've got here. Now pay attention here at the top, you see we have a menu and on the right, another menu element. If I select this one and I go to the menu settings, you will see it says menu left. From the drop down, we have two. So there's a menu left and a menu right. So if I go to the menu on the right, we have the menu right here, and you can select menu left and right. This tells us that in the dashboard, in the CMS dashboard, we've created two menus. Let's go have a look at that, make sure that I'm not talking nonsense, and select menus. And you see we have five pages here. And then here, where you select your menu and you create new ones, you have menu left and menu right. So we've created a menu on the left and we've put two links there, which is the menu and the about. And we've created the menu on the right where we've also put two, which is the restaurant and the contact. And the only one of these pages that we've not used is the home. And the reason for that is that when you use a split menu, you must use the logo as your home. Here you see where we have this image. You will think this is the link, not the entire column has been linked. And that's easily done with this little disk server icon next to it. I'll show you. Go to the column, go to the link function, and you will see it says link to site URL, which is your homepage domain for easy terms. Delete it so we can do it from scratch. What you do is go to these little disks, and then you just select which one you want there. Currently, it's site URL, which is your home page. Doesn't matter which page people are on, always has to be on this one. Go down to mobile. I'll use Control Command minus on my keyboard to cycle through the views. This is tablet. Do you like it? I think it's fine on a tablet, so we're going to leave it. We go to mobile. It looks okay, but remember what happened? If you have any device with a smaller, narrower width, these two are going to be squashed. It's not going to look good. Now, your instinct is going to tell you, no problem, JB, I'm going to turn it into a hamburger menu. So you go here and you select it and you go to the settings and you make it a hamburger and immediately like, oh, wait, what, uh, ooh, ah, la, la, what am I going to do now? And this is the situation that I've mentioned. 
I've not seen this on the website. I, I mean, it may be interesting, but you definitely don't want this kind of fighter jet effect on your site. So let's undo that. Control Command Z to undo and find a better solution for this. So the better solution is what many people actually try to avoid because it brings a little bit extra content onto your page, but it is a way that you get it to do it properly. I'll go back to our desktop display. And to do that, you can either hit Control Command minus because it cycles back, or you can use Control Command plus. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a second menu structure. Now you will see that this current one, because it's a cloned one, is already set to a global header. There's the little icon in the top right corner, and you can see there is no option to duplicate it. The moment you make any block, a global block, the ability to duplicate it on the same page is lost. You cannot have of the same global block two versions on a page. What I'm going to do then is bring in a new header. So I'll click on the block manager and we go here to header. And let's not use this split menu, which you see here. I'm going to use this default one on the far top left. Click on that. And I will then go to our reorders over here. Let's drag it to the top so I can work with it there. And now what I'm going to do is change the icon. Actually, we can duplicate this. What I'm going to do, I have to be careful now because any changes I make here, let's see what happens if I duplicate. And I'll drag this one here. Okay, that worked in my favor a little bit. So let's reduce it. I'm going to delete this one, delete. And for this, I'll align it all the way to the left. Click on it, make it a little bit bigger. Okay, doesn't matter. I'm on desktop, really doesn't matter. But what do we do here now for this menu element? Because we need to bring in a menu. Are we going to go with menu left? Or do you prefer menu right? Which one is your favorite, Sophie? And the answer is neither. You need to take it as a holistic. So we're going to create a new menu. Go to the CMS dashboard and in WordPress, you're just going to go to your themes, your menus and create a new menu. Same thing like we're going to do here. So menus and then create or select a menu. We select the drop down, click on create new menu and I will call this mobile. Then I'll add it. And from my mobile, select it. No items, I'll select all five. I'll even include the home page here. Add it and then drag them into the order menu, restaurant, about, and contact, and save your changes. Let's go back to the page. If you click on the menu link now, you will see that that is still not there. And the reason is you need to refresh this page so that that new menu information can be brought in. Make sure you update before you do that. Control Command S and then to refresh your page, just hit your refresh. Now, let's go to that menu link, select it, and you will see next to menu, we have mobile and select that. Great. Now, here's the amazing thing. You really don't need to care about the styling of this one on this page. Why? Because you're not going to display it on this page. You're only going to display this on the mobile device. First of all, you need to make it global. So remember that very important function. We go to the settings of this block. We go to make it global. And where do we want to display it? I want to display it on all and I'll save it. Now uh, I'll click save again, just because I'm in a good mood. Now to make this one go away on desktop, you need to say, don't appear on desktop. And to do that, you go to the settings of the block, styling, and then select advanced show on desktop. No. And it's gone. And now our page is back to what it was. However, if we go to tablet, control command minus, you will see there it is. Same thing here. We don't want it to appear. Now it's easier. Just click on the settings and then you select this little I. Osiris says no and you select it. It's gone. Remember, if you want to bring it back, you go here to the toolbar in the bottom right corner, and here you have the hide and show hidden elements. So if I click on it, it will come back. It's blurred out, showing you that it's been hidden. 
And the reason why we hide it is so that you can do better design. Now we go to mobile. Control minus, command minus. We want this one. We don't want this one. But before you do that, let's just have a look at how we got this transparent one for this header. Go to the hero section, which is this. Enjoy the authentic sushi experience and select the settings and see that here for the margin, it says minus 120 pixels. That's how you move it behind that. So the first thing you need to do is go to this header, the one that we currently have, the original one, select it and make it invisible. Now it's moved up, but this one is still showing. And the reason for that is because of the color. So I select the color overlay, grab the opacity slider, drag it down all the way, and look at that. Now let's just click here on our menu item. Oops, let's try it again. We go to the settings here. Yep, and change the color. I'll put that on white. Now we can see that one. Very nice. You see our hamburger appears. I'll grab this, drag it a little bit to the right. If I want to make the icon bigger or my home logo bigger, let's see if that looks good. Yes. And then I can also just click on this and style these guys out. So you see, that's how we're going to create this with all our menu links in one menu. We don't have the split menu. So let's update our work here. Go to the top, just see everything is still good. Look at that. And that means you have two header blocks on your page with different menus. And you do this, like I said, for Brizzy Cloud and for Brizzy WordPress exactly the same way. This is the way. So remember, whenever, especially when you use a pre designed template, go check on mobile devices how it looks. If you have, for example, maybe six links here, three, and three on this side, there's no way that this is going to look, or this format is going to look good on a mobile device. Those squashed things, no, 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 it's not going to work. So test it very, very well on tablets and also test it on mobile devices. Great, and I hope this was helpful. Hope to see you use this feature as well. Remember, subscribe to us on YouTube. Give this video a like if you found it useful. And for more news, remember to visit us at brizzy.io. From me, JP, until next time.